Saturday out. Today's video is a continuation of the last video on how to get your truck, show truck ready, whether it be a show truck or not. Welcome back to the channel, me and Car Keys. So last video we did an extensive detail and cleaning of the outside of the truck. Today's video is about the inside. Hey y'all, before I open this door, let me give a quick disclaimer. I have kids, two kids, small kids. Let's put it out there. <laughs> so I got car seats, we got pencils, we got clothes, we got Dorito bags, we got books. I told y'all we have kids. <laughs> we got bubbles. <laughs> Two of them, actually. Uh, we got these Lost Fit floor mats. Now, great thing about Lost Fit floor mats, these are all weather floor mats. I can take them out, shake them out, and then rinse them out, and then put them back in. Perfect. Now, the seats are a whole different story. Now, both seats, all our seats are cloth seats, and they all pretty much have stains all over them, which is what we're going to deal with in today's video. I might typically clean the inside of any vehicle, whether that be a truck, car, whatever. Uh, start at the top and work your way down. Just make things a little easier for you. Um, I still don't have a vacuum cleaner, y'all. I still don't have a vacuum cleaner. I know that's sad. I'm a car guy. I don't have a vacuum cleaner. But we're going to use a brush. We have a little hand brush. We're going to brush everything down from the top down and then get out of here. I love my kids, I love my kids, I love my kids. Say it with me. <laughs> I love my kids, I love my kids, I love my kids. Say it, say it. I love my kids. <laughs> Man. Gotta use what you got. Gotta use what you got. <laughs> Dad life. <laughs> the bad part here is to see all this stuff and not know where each stain came from, which is kind of weird to me. Now, I know this is ice cream. I remember we had ice cream in here. My daughter dropped hers. Um, that's yogurt. Why was she eating yogurt? Why was why do you eat yogurt in the truck? I don't know who authorized that. I have no clue. But she was eating yogurt and dropped it behind the seat. That's yogurt. This is grits. I don't know how the grits inside of the truck, but the grits in the truck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this, these rugs out. That's the good thing about these rugs. You pull them out, shake them out, rinse them off, good to go. Just with the initial rinse, came pretty clean. Everything except for the yogurt stain. <laughs> All right, y'all, we got it looking like something now. Um, french fry. <laughs> I guarantee to find a french fry at a, a group of french fries every time. This is just one of the many that I found. I right, quickly give a little backstory. Uh, somebody broke in this truck uh, about two years ago. I was at the dentist, y'all, believe it or not. I was actually at the dentist getting my teeth clean. <laughs> somebody broke in this truck. They uh, damaged this front window and then they actually shattered this, uh, this uh, back window. So every time I clean this truck out, and keep in mind it's been two years, I find glass. It never fails. Every single time I find at least one or two pieces of glass somewhere in this truck. Funny thing is they didn't even get anything because there was nothing in the truck. Anyway, old news. I was having y'all, it is day two in the interior cleaning. Now it's not supposed to be a two day project, but as you know, we only get 24 hours in a day. And for whatever reason, they go by super fast. So. Today's, uh, we're gonna clean our interior surfaces, we're gonna clean our dashboard, we're gonna clean all the door panels, and we're gonna clean our seats. Now, we're gonna use to clean our seats. Chemical guys, big shots, chemical guys, they got some awesome products. Yeah, I've seen this all over social media and I want to try it myself. This is called Lightning Fast, and you're supposed to be able to spray it on. Uh, you brush it in with the interior brush. This is a heavy duty interior cleaning brush, also from Chemical Guys. And then you're supposed to be able to wipe it down with just a microfiber towel. It's supposed to create a world of wonders in, in cleaning products. So we're gonna try it today. And uh, the reason I'm doing it this early in the morning is because I wanted to have, give it time to dry before I actually have to drive the truck, which I have to drive the truck later. So let's go. I know the camera's not picking this up well at all, but <laughs> this is where our tape was. This is the clean side, still wet. This is the dirty side. You can see the stains still up here. Uh, yeah, I can tell the camera's not picking it up, but this stuff has done wonders already. It looks like a brand new seat on this side in person. 
Now, yeah, I'll be the first one to tell you, I was a little skeptical about this product, this uh, Lightning Fast, but check this out. I gotta show you this. So the back seat was filthy. Check it out now. Yeah, this stuff has done wonders for the interior of my truck. We hit all the seats, they're all clean. They literally look brand new. It looks like it looked when I first got the truck. Good stuff, good stuff. Just to make sure you understand how good this product really is, I've only been out here for 15 minutes. I've literally been out here for 15 minutes. Spray it down, use the brush, wipe it off with a microfiber towel, and that's it. You got a brand new interior cloth seats like you had it from the factory. Amazing product. Um, so we finished it just in time. As you see, the sun's coming up, and it's perfect timing. Um, the sun, we're gonna let the sun dry it. We're gonna crack the windows, let the sun dry it. So the next product I wanna talk about was actually this. This is Meguiar's Interior Detailer Cleaner. Now I got this as a gift. My uh, brother and sister bought me this for Christmas and it's some good stuff. This is what I'm using to wipe down the interior, uh, the dashes and uh, trim pieces and whatnot. Some good stuff. So it's all in the details. So this Meguiar spray is good stuff. Um, air is like this, right? When I say it's about the details, air is like this, right? People tend to miss stuff like this. You need to spray it with your Meguiar's, wipe it down with a microfiber towel and you're good to go. Look at that, real easy, real simple. Real easy, real simple. It gives it that shine and it gets rid of some of these random stains that you don't really know where they came from. Look at that, nice and clean, gives it a little shine. Same thing down here, the base down here of the uh, seat, and hit that as well. Boom, nice little shine. Now, areas like this, this little kick plate thing right here, same thing, spray it down, wipe it down. You can also spray down your mats. Spray down your mat so it'll give it a nice little shine. Now, it doesn't actually need it to actually clean, but you can spray it down as well, and it'll give it a nice little shine. Now, uh, we're talking about the door panel, the same thing. All up in here, these little black areas in here that nobody tends to see. They get stains randomly, and you don't know where they came from. Same thing, wipe those down. Now, you always wanna take it that extra step and go the extra mile, because I promise you, everybody's not doing this which makes it important for us to do it. All these pieces, these interior pieces, cup holder pieces, all your ashtray pieces, all these pieces are removable. Take them out, wash them, right? Just with soap and water, put them in the sink, and wash them, they come clean very easily. Now, after we've done that, we wipe down our whole interior, everything's good to go. We're gonna go one extra step and we're gonna use my favorite product, which is Chemical Guys VRP. And we're gonna wipe down all of our interior, wipe down our dashboard, we're gonna wipe down our door panels, all our interior panels with this to give it that extra shine and give it some protection as well. Right, y'all, we're pretty much done with the inside with the interior. Now I did clean the windows, the inside of the windows. And all I used was some Windex and a rag. And don't forget to do that. That's a very important step uh, to clean the inside of your windows because there's always like fingerprints and smudges on your windows that you may never see until like the sun hits it. So um, I'll leave all the products, the links to the products in the description below. Everything we use, all the products we use, they're all good products and I, I can definitely stand behind them and recommend them. Now, what do you think about my list of products? Um, have you tried any of these products? Do, are there any other products that you use that you recommend for the interior of your vehicle? Let me know, put them in the comments below as always. I do appreciate the help as always. Last thing I want to talk about is the final finishing touch on cleaning the inside of your vehicle is because you want your vehicle to smell good. Now I use three different products on the inside of my truck and it smells like a hospital right now. <laughs> it smells very sterile, all right, which is good, but uh, not really the smell I want every time I get in my truck. So I have two products I want to recommend and they're both from Chemical Guys. The first one is New Car Smell by Chemical Guys. It says premium air freshener and odor neutralizer. Now I've used this stuff before. If you're gonna use it, just spray it one time, all right? <laughs> I made the mistake of spraying it four or five times all through the truck when I first got it and it was a little overwhelming, but it definitely smells like a new car. Good stuff. The second product I wanna recommend is the one we're gonna use this time is, uh, <laughs> by Chemical Guys, it is Fresh Glazed Donut Scent. <laughs> and trust me, Without even spraying it through the bottle, I can smell. It smells just like Krispy Kreme. The best smell in the world, y'all. Krispy Kreme donuts are the best donuts in the world, by the way. <sighs> this is just, it smells just like a donut, y'all. Try, try it out. Put the link in the description below. Try it out, tell me what you think. I thank you for watching another video on the Me and Car Keys channel. Once again, don't forget to check out those links. 
to all the products that we're using in today's video. And don't forget to leave in the comment section below the products that you use to clean the inside of your vehicle. I do appreciate it. Once again, thanks for watching another video on me and Kirky's channel. Please stay motivated no matter what happens, no matter everything you do, stay motivated. Now, once again, the show is June the 3rd. It is cruising Coweta. If you're in the Atlanta area, the Noonan area, stop by, check it out. I think it's like five bucks to get in. You see me out there, stop by the truck, say what's up, let's link up, let's meet. Uh, once again, thanks for watching the video on me and Kirky's channel. I'll see you next time.